Hello and welcome to AD with Logs. This video is meant for all those who are planning to visit Ladakh. As you may already be aware that with two international boundaries within the jurisdiction of this union territory, it is a sensitive region in terms of its strategic military importance. Hence, to visit Ladakh, you have to obtain a permit. Most videos trying to guide you for a trip to Ladakh do not speak about this aspect, the permits and the required fees. So I thought, why not prepare a video for those seeking information in this regard. Now recently, the procedure for obtaining such permit has been significantly simplified and one can easily obtain it in advance online by paying the necessary fees and unlike yesteryears one doesn't have to go to the DC office at Leh to obtain the permit. So in this video I shall share with you the procedure to obtain the permit online. I shall show you the entire procedure live with all necessary details. So do watch the entire video till its end. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe for more such videos. So in order to do this, first you have to open your browser and visit Google or other search engine and search for Ladakh permit. Simple. Now from the search results, look for this, the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council website, which is lahdclaypermit.in. Once you locate, you click on it to visit the website. Next on the right of the page, you get these links. From these, you have to click on domestic, assuming you are an Indian citizen. This opens up the application page and this pop-up window clearly states that there is no need to verify the payment received at the DC office. Further it states that the tourist can directly visit the areas after online payment and the payment slip in PDF or hard copy shall be checked at the check posts. And adds a clause which is important. It is mandatory to show your lay arrival boarding pass along with the permit. Now proceeding to fill up an application for permit you have to register with your name. I shall type AD with logs. Next, your mobile number. I shall type in a fictitious number here. Next, your email address. Then select your gender, choose your state of origin, then enter your ID details. I shall again key in a fictitious number here as this is only for demonstrative purpose. Then type your address in the address field. And next, most likely you are applying yourself, so choose direct for the mode of payment. Then comes an important part, date of beginning journey, which is the date on which you reach lay. This has an effect later, which I shall explain soon. So here I choose 18 July and prove that I am human, <laughs> robots are not allowed. The registration is now complete, here then you are offered two options of seeking a solo permit or that of a group. So I shall choose group registration here to which I think will offer a better perspective. Now on the top here the initial details that I have already entered is showing. The permit will be issued with this one as a lead traveler and the persons I shall add now shall get registered as companions. So let's proceed. I shall add two more travelers. AD Vidlocks 2 State ID type 
and for id number i shall simply copy paste the previous fictitious id number i had entered as it is only for demonstration then gender and then click on this plus sign to add another traveler oh it would accept only alphabets in the name field so let's make it ad with logs d and the next traveler to be ad with logs e then again state id type and copy paste gender let it be a female this time then next now you have to choose your intended places of visit from the predetermined choices so first khalsi dhankar hanu dha then khartum khalsa diskit hundar tutuk the nubra region that is then upshi somoriri karzok so there are multiple options to choose from you just have to click on the check boxes to the right of each option you can select as many as you want no restrictions here and now since umlingla has come up as a very popular destination since it's opening in 2021 to visit you have to select this last option serial number 13 and now comes the important part you won't be allowed to obtain a permit leaving lay before 48 hours of arriving at lay the system prevents it look i had chosen 18 july as date of arrival at lay so 18th and 19th are frozen i can't leave lay before 20th so be very careful while choosing the dates next you choose your date of departure no restrictions here then answer if you would contribute towards the red cross fund then next and you have to exit to this self declaration to proceed further so this page opens up with all details you have entered so far it now shows the details of the amounts that you have to pay on account of various fees in this case it shows 1830 for 7 days five destinations it usually varies with according to the number of days involved and not the number of destinations i repeat here re verify the dates which is very important before making the final payment now let's see what if we change the number of days so i go back now after entering the basic details i shall choose six destinations now earlier it was five the journey date 20th and departure 24th instead of 27th earlier next declaration so six destinations but five days see it has come down to 1650 from 1830 for three passengers The environment fee has remained the same. The wildlife fee has reduced. So next you click on pay now after finalizing everything. Recheck all the details that you have entered. So next pay now. This opens up the payment gateway. You simply enter the details of your mode of payment, net banking cards, UPI and then you are done now if you could not or did not get a print out of the receipt initially you can do it later by clicking on this print receipt link on the home page you can enter a group id or the name of a tourist to do that that's how simple it is I have also shared the link in the description below if you need it. So I hope you found the video helpful and if you did please do share it with your friends and family and click on the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on the new videos that I upload.
If you have any suggestions or queries, please feel free to mention in the comment section below. I shall try to respond as early as possible. Thanks for watching.